Recently, I tested my life vest by jumping in a swimming pool during my safety and sea class. As you see, when I get submerged, the life vest is activated. There's a self-inflating trigger which causes a puncture in a carbon dioxide cylinder once the cylinder goes into water. That carbon dioxide then inflates the yellow life vest. It inflates around my neck and holds me up in the water. An important part of this is it prevents my head going into the water and drowning, even if I fell overboard and was unconscious. Next job is to repack the life vest and rearm it, and also to add an important safety measure called an AIS PLB. I lay out the life vest and fold the bladder after having removed the carbon dioxide, then slowly re-zip the vest around the bladder. This will then, of course, go around my head. There's then a light that pops out of the life vest, and when it's activated by water, it turns on and starts flashing, and I just test it by pressing a button on the bottom. When this is all tucked in, I then zip most of the way around, and then it's time to rearm the life vest. There are two parts. First, there's the trigger that senses the presence of water and I'm submerged. This then fires a pin into the second part, which is a carbon dioxide cylinder, which inflates the life vest. As you can see, once this is rearmed, there are two green lines. One is showing the cylinder is good, and one is showing the trigger is good. If either were red, one has to um, remove them and put in new systems. Once I've got the life vest repacked, or almost repacked, I then add in a very important safety device called an AIS PLB, acronyms I know, Automatic Identification System and Personal Locator Beacon. If I were to fall in the water, the act of the life vest inflating triggers this device. The AIS sends a signal up to seven miles away that will go to neighboring ships to say somebody is in the water. At the same time, a personal locator beacon is activated and that sends a signal up to satellites, then back out to the Coast Guard. They'd also get my GPS coordinates and they would know where I am and they would trigger a search and rescue. 